Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Audi Outdoors. Today I'm going to be showing a video of me climbing with the Velobile with the trailer. Now what I have here is the, Cyclo the Radical Design Cyclone 4 trailer. Inside the Radical Design Cyclone 4 trailer, I have a Yeti 35 liter cooler, which is currently secured in with these buckles here. And what's inside the Yeti cooler is going to be a four pound Yeti ice pack. Which looks like this. The reason why I prefer these ice packs is there's no cleanup, no mess. You just toss them in, you know they're going to work. And inside, I was also carrying a Gatorade 20 fluid ounce Gatorade. I also had one of these inside my Velobile yesterday when I did the run. And uh, I was doing a grocery run. I wanted to pick up some cold stuff, some meat, some frozen stuff. And it was about 82, 83 degrees Fahrenheit. The whole time about 75% humidity, 75-80% humidity. And let's go ahead and talk about what you're going to see in the video. So what you're going to see in the video is the first... You're going to see me go up a steep climb. That's going to be on my way to the grocery store. That's about 10, 11% gradient. I was in the lowest gear I have, which is a 60 up front, 52 tooth in the back. So I have a 12 speed, 1152 in the back. Um, second climb you're going to see is going to be on my way home with all the groceries in the trailer. Now I had a couple pounds of meat, uh, probably a pound or two of tater tots, had one and a half dozen eggs, and I had a loaf of rye bread in there. That's what I can remember I put in there. Um, eggs made it home fine. As you can see in the speed run at the end of the video, uh, that was on the way home. There was lots of bumps. The trailer even left the ground a couple times. It was crazy. It was great. Um, great test of it. Eggs didn't get cracked at all. Not one single cracked egg. So I was pretty happy about that. I honestly thought maybe eggs would get cracked, but... You know, the eggs right now are on sale for $1.29 a dozen, so I didn't really matter if it got cracked or not. Plus, the whole purpose of this run was to test out how it does with the trailer doing a grocery run. Another reason why I got the trailer is also so I can go get pizza when I want to. Something you can't just put inside the Velobile groceries. You can probably get away with putting groceries inside the Velobile when it's cooler out, but not when it's hot summer days with high humidity like it is now. So, let's talk about another thing on the flats I didn't show this video in I didn't show this clip in this video but on the flats on my normal flat on the way home I just noticed I couldn't get up to speed as easily as I normally could like I just kept pedaling and pedaling and pedaling and it just felt like it was holding me back like I couldn't I couldn't get up to speed as good and it was just I was probably about four mile per hour average slower than I normally am so I think for these runs, I did 13.8, 13.9 mile an hour average. Usually I do about 17 mile per hour average without a trailer. But again, I did set out to do steeper climbs on this one. So, But either way, I would never hit below 15 miles an hour on an average ride unless it was really cold out and I was slowing down for conditions. Now let's talk about the handling of this trailer. This trailer handles perfectly. Like, when I whipped around turns as fast, as tight as I could, I even drifted to my Velobile's front tires, and this trailer did not, did not affect the handling. Like, I thought it would pull my, my Velobile over. Nope. Front tires lost traction. This thing didn't. Handled perfectly. And even over the bumps when it's flying up and down, bouncing up in the air, I didn't even feel it in here. I only saw it on the camera after the fact. So, and you can see it leave the ground a couple times. And I was, that was on the speed run. And yeah, so I like the way this trailer handles. Like it doesn't even feel like you're pulling a trailer other than the fact that it feels like something's holding you back. Like it's just like, man, why can't I go faster? And that's just kind of what it is. Honestly, I don't think it's as much aerodynamics as it is rolling resistance. Right now, the trailer has these cheap Chinese tires that came with it. Like literally they're Chinese, they're like Chen Chang or something tires on there. And honestly, I don't know what to make of it. I'm probably going to put faster tires on there. The problem is they're 16-inch tires. So they are pretty hard to come by in low rolling resistance for that size. But nonetheless, I think I could see improvements. And what I based that off of is the fact that I was going down to 2% gradient. And I still hit about 35 miles per hour. 
I mean, honestly, I would probably hit maybe two miles an hour faster without the trailer. But again, I think that can be contributed to the rolling resistance. So I might do that run again without the trailer and see how I do. Kind of give a comparison with the bulk because I've only done that course maybe one time with the bulk so far. I've done it probably like a hundred times in my Quest XS. But again, the Quest XS has a mountain drive. This one doesn't. This one's just a one by 60 tooth up front. And this thing it takes a special mountain drive, so it's going to be a while. But uh, yeah, with any further delays, let's go ahead and watch the video. All right, this gradient gets really steep right here. This is very steep. I'm putting out a lot of watts right now. About 250 watts. Measuring 10% gradient so far. But I haven't got enough distance for to get the accurate gradient. It's not as steep right here. We have about 10% gradient. It's about all I could do in this thing. 9% is really doable. Yeah, that's a steep hill. 10% gradient. I'll do a run without the trailer, see how well I do. Alright. Now, see, this is the uphill I'm talking about. Now, most times this shoulder is clear. So, Armin actually attacks this one to climb. Bellville protects you from all the airflow, but also helps pick you up a little bit, so you can put more leverage down on the pedals. It's a little bit, it's a bit of leverage down on it. So right now it's reading 4% gradient uphill, but now about 190 watts. Not as fast as I thought it was going to be. Now it's 190, 200 watts, but it gets a little steeper up here. I only know this because I've ridden this so many times. Now if I had the hood on, I could actually flip this up and look through a little hole underneath the hood that curves like this. And then I could just see right under the hood. But right now I'm pushing about 185, 200 watts. And that's kind of sustainable for me for a little bit. Not long term though. About 200 watts for that's almost my FTP. About 220 is my FTP. So, so all I don't have to do is climb too long. I'm fine. 190 is kind of it. It's kind of good. So, as you can see, I'm talking normally. So, just a little bit out of breath. Right here is flattening out a little bit. So down to about 150 watts. 160 watts. And we got one last climb. I'm gonna pass this driveway. Now up here, almost everybody always tries to run that stop sign. I hate it. Let's see if we catch someone on the camera. Running at a stop sign. 
Now sometimes they just run into the line and they don't care if anyone's coming, they just go. It ticks me off. But I guess no one's leaving right now. Alright, and this climb is basically done. 3% gradient to and we're done with that climb. That music is a garment telling me I'm done. That climb.